Man, Paul Casey got the worst break. Uh, one of the worst breaks I've ever seen coming down the stretch of the Players' Championship. And oh my goodness, this was horrible. And why this rule and these rules don't change is, is beyond me. Beyond me. This is absolutely ridiculous. Potentially, I cost the guy the tournament. 16th hole. He He's in the mix. He's about, he, you know, uh, Cam Smith just duck hooks the ball in the trees. So birdie for him is, we would assume, out of the question. Paul Casey's like, cool. Stripes it right down the middle of the fairway. Will be on that green in two. Nearly guaranteed birdie. And it could be birdie bogey situation. It could be eagle par situation. It could be eagle birdie situation. Uh, Paul Casey could take the lead. Like, this is clutch drive. Perfect. What happens? Does the ball go in a divot? No. A divot would have been better in this situation. No. He lands in a pitch mark. A pitch mark. A pitch mark's the size of a golf ball. It's worse than a divot. I mean, it's basically in a hole. Now, if his ball's in a gopher hole or any burrowing animal hole, he gets a free relief. Free relief. If his ball's in a divot, he does not get free relief. However, most of the time in a divot, it's either sand-filled but, or you can get the club on the back of the ball. In a hole, the ball is in a hole. Like it's, this is, the ball is embedded. If his ball is in his own pitch mark, he gets relief. He gets free drop. If his ball makes a pitch mark, bounces out, hits a tree, comes back and goes in his own pitch mark, he gets free relief. His ball can make a pitch mark. It could ricochet off 10 people, roll down the cart path, roll back down the hill to his own pitch mark, roll back into his own pitch mark, free relief. You get free relief from your own pitch mark. There's no way Paul Casey knows it's not his own pitch mark other than the fact that somebody told him, no, dude, we got it on camera. Your pitch mark's way back there. It rolled 12 yards and it went in a different pitch mark. We, the, the only way he knows that is if somebody tells him that. His ball is embedded. His ball is fully embedded, yet he gets no relief because it's not his pitch mark. I, you let me know your thoughts. I've always been an advocate for the rule change of if you're in a fairway and in a divot, you get free relief. If you're in the fairway and your ball's embedded in any way, shape, or form, you should get free relief. If your ball's embedded anywhere other than a hazard, you should get free relief relief. An embedded ball is an embedded ball. It doesn't matter if it's your pitch mark or somebody else's. Dude, somebody left a pitch mark in front of you. If I'm playing behind a guy who hits the ball a thousand feet in the air and makes pitch marks on every hole and never fixes them, and I roll in them every hole, I get penalized. It, I have to suffer those consequences. Why do I have to suffer the consequences of being in somebody's pitch mark or divot because they failed to repair them and they're right in front of me? That's ridiculous. That's the worst rule ever. If Sergio Garcia is playing in front of me and has a hissy fit and makes 40 million uh, chunk marks in the middle of the fairway and my ball rolls in one because he didn't repair it, I have to play it as it lies. This, this is a can of worms that is open that nobody wants to address. 
for some strange reason. I have no idea why. Poor Paul Casey, like, he got hosed to the point, like, he literally punches out, whatever, makes a par, and it really affects his next shot on 17. It totally affected him. If he makes birdie there, he's in a different different spot on the leaderboard, different frame of mind. He's not like dejected. He's energized. He's going to hit a different shot on 17, 100%. He's going to stick that thing. He's going to hit the slope. It's going to roll down near the hole. He, he Whatever. He might have went for it and hit it too far right and went in the water. But at least he would have had a different attitude going into 17 and 18 than he did. Instead, he's like, are you serious? Is the, And it just stole. You got a dude who just hooks it in the trees. You pipe it down the middle of the fairway. Perfect spot. And you're like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't believe this. I did everything right. And I'm not in a divot, which would be way better. I'm in a, I'm embedded. And I, I don't get relief out of this thing. Ridiculous. That's a rule that must change right away. Divot in the fair. Other rules that need to change that you think, let me know, comment below. What rules out there do you absolutely think are ridiculous in golf that need to be changed immediately? That's one that was right there, right there in everybody's face on the final round at the end of the Players' Championship. And man, dudes, oh, uh, just a heartbreaker. I, I saw that. You you know, you always see that ball roll, roll through the fairway. You're like, don't hit a divot. Don't hit a divot. Don't hit a divot. And you're like, and you're like, hey, what's that? Oh, how did, dude, you hold a one. And you're like, my initial thought was like, oh, his ball's embedded. And then I was like, oh, it's not his own pitch mark. This is, this will be interesting. And even the announcers on TV were like, yep, that's uh, no relief there. Sorry. Sorry, Paul Casey. No soup for you. Let me know your thoughts on rules that must change. Comment below. Heartbreaker right there. Got to be fixed.